Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am the Poverty Princess. Last year I did a makeup organization video and I went with a glam look for uh, my makeup organizers. Well, this year I'm going with something a little more softer and basically I'm just changing things up a little bit in my bathroom. Um, as far as like where to put stuff and what I'm putting it in. So just to show you a few things that I did. And uh, I'm also going to be doing two really cute plaques for this bathroom. I decided to take those pictures down and do something a little bit different and whimsical. So check it out. I decided to use up what was left of my coral paint and I really wanted to get away from the plastic and lucite and everything and go with something that was a little bit softer even down to holding q-tips and um, cotton balls I just wanted to totally go with something that I don't know was just just a little bit more I guess well, I can't say a little more feminine, but, um, just a different look, you know? So this was a basket from, uh, Unexpected Craft Surprise. Well, I gave that a facelift. Going to be using that to store some makeup items in. Here's another basket. And, uh, I painted that one as, well... Now, I did take a glass jar from Dollar Tree, and I actually touched it up somewhat. I took it from a silver to a gold with my rose gold paint, and this is going to be for cotton balls. I took a glass... Uh, candle holder from Dollar Tree and yeah I messed up a little bit right here with the um, painters tape but I painted that all the way around and that now holds my eyeliners and mascaras um, yeah I see where I messed up ah well can't be perfect but um, you'll notice the theme, of course, with uh, the coral. So I wasn't liking the way the gold acrylic paint came on glass. It definitely isn't made for glass. I definitely found that out. So I went over it with my gold marker from Dollar General. The, uh, paint marker and that turned out better I like that and if you're wondering uh, yeah this is a q-tip holder but if you're wondering what glass this was um, my PNR grocery haul remember the um, pan penne or pan distel uh, the chocolate Nutella um, stuff well yeah that's the empty container I said I like to recycle, so yep, I do. And last is this cute little wooden box. It had something on it on the one side about planting, um, but I didn't really want to put a plant in it, so I just painted the sides, and I'm going to use that for my makeup brushes. So you might recognize this from my unexpected craft surprise video. It was white wicker. 
again, keeping with the color theme, I spray painted it coral. Um, I tried to push that foam down as much as I could. And unfortunately, I see you could see a little bit of it. Um, I might have to add a few pieces of moss in there to disguise that. But um, I had washed those artificial flowers and I found a couple of loose little roses I threw in too. Um, I just wanted to do something a little bit different rather than the same pictures. And over here, um, I'm going to be putting a cute little bathroom sign. I'm going to be using a free printable from Pinterest. I always loved the old-fashioned um, signs for bathrooms, like decor. You know, like baths, 10 cents, that, or shaves, you know, 5 cents. Um, some of them ladies' room. Some really cute things. And I, uh, I found a few. I'm going to print them up. Not sure yet which one I'm going to actually use, but right there is where I'm going to be uh, putting a plaque. So, for my bathroom signs, I simply found a couple of cute free printables, of course, from my favorite free printable site, which is Pinterest. A wonderful, wonderful site. Um, I printed this because I thought this was really cute. If I do have to go somewhere and I do really want to look good, believe me, um, this is pretty much my attitude. Better late than ugly. <laughs> that does suit me. When I do spruce up, I take my time sprucing up. And this one I thought was also cute. Um, when all else fails, I take a bubble bath. Um, because bubble baths are very relaxing. For my bathroom plaques, I'm going to be using two different ones. This is one of the plaques from Dollar General. Uh, you will remember I used a plaque like this to make my Always Sunny sunflower uh, plaque for my kitchen. So I'm going to be using this. And I'm also going to be using this little plaque. And this is from Dollar Tree. Um, I bought this several months ago, and what I'm going to be doing is removing the word home here. Now, I thought it was all metal. I don't believe it is. It looks like there's foam underneath. So, I'm going to get a small um, spatula and remove remove this yeah it looks like it's foam under underneath hmm. a little tricky to get off I didn't realize that I honestly just thought it was metal gosh I would have preferred, I think, just metal. Goodness gracious. Yeah, it's like some kind of foam. I'm not liking that. I would have preferred just metal. It's really a devil to get off. They really have it um Duck on, God. Okay. Yeah, it's like some type of backing on it. Well, I could remove that down the road. I would like to use this, I think, in a wreath. I think it would be nice. So I'm going to put this aside. All right, and next I'm going to be using a piece of sandpaper. This is from Dollar Tree. I couldn't find my sandpaper for the longest time. Well, I found uh, two pieces about two weeks ago. So,
just wanted to give that a little bit of a more and feel. And I'm going to be doing the same with And I was trying to get that little bit of a label off, and that was giving me a hard time. It was like, good lord, what is up with everything today? Is it just one of them, I don't know, crappy days or what? I, I don't know. So yeah, I want to just spread that down a little bit too. Alright, now with this black, I am removing this uh, rope because I think this is a little too short. I want it to be a little bit longer, so I'm going to use some of my twine. Um, to hang this up when this is done so yeah I'm just going to remove that this one this is fine because I can paint around that um, that's not an issue and that's a good size to hang also but yeah this is just a little bit too um So I'm going to be using my very light pink um, matte chalk paint and I got this a uh, couple of, well almost two months ago off of Amazon. This came from the UK, this and white. Um, I really think that the pale pink would be really nice. So I'm going to do a quick coat. Well, that actually looks nice on there. And of course I'll be doing my usual two coats. Mm, but that really does look nice on there. I like that. Yeah, I'm really liking this. Alright, so while this dries, I'm going to work on this one, switching back and forth. Next, I'm going to attach my free Pinterest printable. And this was one of them. Um, both of them actually I found together. It's 10 free printables. I do have the link enclosed down below. Um, so you can look and take advantage of the printables for yourself. This says, when all else fails, take a bubble bath. And I'm going to put that on this plaque. So I'm going to cut it out. And I'm going to attach it with the matte Mod Podge. So I'm just working the 
the mat Mod Podge all over the back of this working it over really really good so it sticks sticks down Moving out, air bubbles. Next, I am working on this one, which said better late than ugly. So I am cutting around the letters, and the easiest way to actually do that is to first just cut the group out in the paper, then trim underneath. And lastly, trim on top. It doesn't need to be perfect, um, but you can trim as much of the white paper then as you can. And then I may as well, uh, I thought, why not? Um, do the top part of my plaque and um, brush my Mod Podge over the two words that I have here. It's just killing two birds on stone, I guess you could say. And then I only have to do the bottom row. While my signs are drying with their top coat, I'm going to be putting some gold metallic acrylic paint from Dollar General onto this jar. <coughs> <coughs> This is going to hold my Q-tips. And that is my sign. Better late than ugly. That's my sarcastic, uh, my sarcastic sense of humor. And here is my other sign. When all else fails, take a bubble bath. I think that came really cute too. Well, so my bathroom signs are done. Ah, only one more thing I need to finish up. So I have a shower curtain um, saved in a, well saved in my cart. Um, I'm also looking for a rug and uh, once my um, bank card uh, gets its situation straightened out that I can load money on it, I will be um, ordering the shower curtain and matching rug. And then that, my friends, will complete my bathroom refresh. If you like this video, guys, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, hit my subscribe button. Thank you so, so much for watching. Take care. I will see you all on the next one. Bye.